Hey, Wimbledon World Entertainment, and I hope you all had a great weekend. And my God, have we got some amount of stories to go over. <laughs> Where do we even start? Well, we'll start with this one that I'm sure you've all seen because it was the one that basically broke the internet. And no, we're not talking about Deadpool and Wolverine's massive box office opening. That thing opened smashing the box office with 400 and 38.3 million dollars worldwide what will its drop off be that'll be interesting to find out no we are in fact talking about robert downey jr is officially coming back to the mcu however he's not coming back as iron man he's coming back as victor von doom that's right dr doom now there's a lot to go over with this story but the first thing I think we really have to take a look at is just how desperate Marvel are to pull this one out. And not just this, but we will have another video later about the Russo brothers coming back, where that also really shows how desperate they are to start getting wins again. Problem with bringing Robert Downey Jr. back now is, by the way, this was a rumor a good few weeks ago that they were going to announce that he was going to be back as Doctor Doom. Now the rumor states, and there's nothing to indicate that this will be the case, but the rumor was that he was going to be back as obviously a variant of Tony Stark, but it's that Tony Stark that turns into Doctor Doom. Don't know whether that'll be the road they go down, especially seeing as they did announce that he would be Victor Von Doom. That's how they introduced the character on the stage and of course you, you can see the videos and stuff of him uh, revealing himself to be there now is it a good idea for him to come back after how he ended uh, his MCU run back in Endgame probably not to be honest with you not because it will destroy the legacy of Tony Stark and stuff because the multiverse always had the door open for them to try and bring all the people back where it doesn't make sense is he left the mcu and went on to do something like oppenheimer where he ends up winning an oscar how do you follow that success up by going oh yeah i'm gonna come back for the avengers here's the other issue not just because it reeks of desperation from marvel and how much is the budget going to be on these things with him back? Because he's probably back for one of them ridiculous paychecks like $60 million. I don't think he wouldn't be. He probably would be. It's the fact as well that would it mean they could possibly start moving into the idea of, well, if we could get him back and he's going to be Doctor Doom, could we possibly start bringing the others back as well? but have them as the evil variants as well. Like, are we going to see Chris Evans come back as Captain America, but he's the Nazi slash Hydra agent? God, I hope not, because that's clearly the road they could go down, and what a terrible road that would be. But then the most important thing about bringing Robert Downey Jr. back, as well as the Russo brothers, to be honest, is these Avenger movies won't be Avengers movies. Let's face facts here. It's not going to be Iron Man with Tony Stark and Steve Rogers, Captain America and Thor and Black Widow and Hawkeye and stuff. No, 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 no. It's going to be the bunch of nobodies and the characters nobody cares about. So why would you bother coming back? The only reason he would be coming back for this is the fact that they must have reversed Fort Knox basically up to the front door of his home and went, please come back and they obviously went okay so it's it's just one of them things where it's bizarre where it's like could he destroy the legacy of playing tony stark it is a possibility especially if he sucks in the role and let's face it there's a possibility that he could end up sucking in the role is it too little too late to bring him back for something like this absolutely there's even that joke in uh, Deadpool and Wolverine when Deadpool says to Hugh Jackman he's like hey welcome to the MCU you're entering at a low point not to mention hot on the heels of the success of Deadpool and Wolverine or at least 
what it's going to seem to be success. We, again, we don't know the budget. There is a rumor that it's 200 million. It's probably more than that. Does the movie crack a billion? Don't know. If it gets close to it, does it actually earn money? We don't know. But nothing in that movie is going to change what we still have coming in the MCU. We're still going to have to go through a trash heap before we even get to uh, Avengers, which is now called Avengers Dooms, uh, Doomsday. So no longer Kang Dynasty. And there doesn't seem to even be a mention of what's going to happen in terms of Kang. You know, how did they spend two phases setting up this character to now they're just ignoring him? They're not even mentioning him? It's a bit weird. I don't think this move is going to be this, oh, the MCU is saved. Look, they're trying to get it back on the right track. When this thing's not to come out for two years, a lot can happen in two years. And the fact, again, that you're going to be seeing, oh, it's Downey Jr., yeah, but, and it is a big but, it's not going to be any recognizable Avengers. It's going to be all the crap characters that no one, like, you're going to get Black Falcon, Captain America, man, nobody's going to want that. You're probably going to get some of the Thunderbolts. Who the hell wants that? Captain Marvel, Ms. Marvel, are they going to be in there? she hulk Like, everything that's been a disaster for the MCU is what's going to have to fill out the squad for the Avengers. So it's probably still not going to work. And again, you're still watching the brand die from here to this point of seeing this movie come out. So it, it's not going to do anything. It's going to be another fart in the wind, basically, when it comes out. So everything about the announcement just reeks of desperation downey jr like was he not getting work or something like seriously how do you go from working with christopher nolan doing oppenheimer to come back to play dr doom in marvel and seeing the state marvel is in yeah it's, it's an interesting one but there is your story that broke over the weekend at comic-con and hall age that Robert Downey Jr. is officially back in the MCU as Doctor Doom. So let's see what happens with this. And with that, I'll leave it there for this one. So cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.